It has not yet been definitively proven that viewing violence on television will lead a child into violent behavior, but even experts agree that it's not good for a child to be exposed constantly, several hours a day, day after day, week after week, to television violence. Research has shown that such exposure has at least four effects children may become less sensitive to the pain and suffering of others, they may become more fearful of the world around them, they may be more likely to behave in an aggressive manner toward other people. Consultants are generally brought in on important decisions that are vital to the future of the company, to make sure every angle is considered, they can devote themselves entirely to the question at hand, while executives are normally busy with the actual running of the company. Consultants also offer deep expertise in a particular industry or subject, such as market positioning or restructuring. Standardization is the process of developing, promoting and possibly mandating standards-based and compatible technologies and processes within a given industry. Standards for technologies can mandate the quality and consistency of technologies and ensure their compatibility, interoperability and safety. A lack of standardization often manifests in large numbers of incompatible proprietary formats for a given technology and for technologies that must interoperate.
Venture capital and public funding authorities need to carefully consider the incentive issues of entrepreneurs when providing support. In allocating resources to potentially competing innovators, there is a trade off between the risk of innovation failure and rent dissipation. Diverse investment lowers the risk of having no successful innovation but also reduces the expected profit from the post innovation market. The executive residence in the White House in the United States of America, where the president resides, is divided into several wings. It also includes the vice president's and president's staff's offices. This government building is a national heritage. Research has found we pursue more rewards when we become habituated to a higher standard of living and compare ourselves to various standards. What it takes to be happy depends on our prior expectations, but these expectations can change over time.
Investigations like this one have been plodding along for 40 years, and some studies, like one following the deadly Kobe quake in 1995 have found similar correlations, but study author Alistair Skelton, a professor of geochemistry at Stockholm University, says the unpredictable subject of study makes it tough to get funding because you can in no way guarantee a result, so I'll get three years of money, but if there's no earthquake, there's no result. When someone commits a criminal act, we always hope the punishment will match the offense, but when it comes to one of the cruelest crimes, animal fighting, things rarely work out that way. Dog fighting victims are tortured and killed for profit and sport, yet their criminal abusers often receive a minimal sentence for causing a lifetime of pain. An environment of rapid change, technological innovations and increasing business competitiveness has highlighted the growing importance of management development, in particular, the general movement towards great employee involvement and making things happen through people has emphasized an integrating rather than a controlling style of management.
Bolstered by the result of laboratory experiments, researchers dare to say that gaming might be mentally enriching. These scholars are the first to admit that games could be addictive, and indeed part of their research explores how games connect to the reward circuit of human beings. Efficiency is not your friend when it comes to cognitive growth. In order to keep our brains making new connections and keep them active, you need to keep moving on to another challenging activity as soon as you reach the point of mastery in the one you are engaging in. The role of women in promoting voluntary medical male circumcision uptake, research reveals the important role played by women in influencing men to undergo circumcision. Women are also motivated to convince men to undergo male circumcision because of the benefits associated with them such as reduction of HIV transmission and cervical cancer. Thank <laughs> you.